Up front, the best guy is number 63, Brian Williams. He's the best offensive guard in the Big Ten. I was a freshman in Minnesota in 1984. I went to the U of M in 1984, and I was recruited to play volleyball. My brother-in-law played football. Rochelle's father played football there, and ended up my sister came to school here. So it's just kind of one big family right now. My past, my family history here, just being a Minnesota person, knowing my family had all played sports here and be a part of that legacy with my family was always a great feeling growing up. And as soon as I met Jerry Kill and all his staff, it was home for me. Stay on it, stay on it, good, 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 good. I don't think he felt any pressure whatsoever. At that time, Max wanted nothing to do with anybody else except the University of Minnesota. You could just tell in his heart that's where he wanted to play. Pistol set, see if there's play action here. There is, Leitner looks, pressure come, lobs over the middle, Williams, touchdown! Max Williams! He's unbelievable, he's just had a great season. He's got tremendous hands, he doesn't drop balls. In my opinion, I think he's the best tight end in the country. Play action, back to pass is Leitner, firing deep, has Max Williams out there, what a grab! I mean, it's kind of a cool feeling knowing you get the recognition, we're like, oh man, that's so cool, and. Really, I, I mean, I tell everyone it was luck. Williams with a dive. Did he catch it with one hand? He did. What a grab. I got lucky. I'll, tell, I'll go to my grave saying I got lucky on those. Max Williams is a, is a freaky athlete, I would say. To make some of the catches he does just, you know, gives him that edge over other people at his position. The way I look at things is, hey, if you don't get recognized, it makes you the underdog. And I'm always good at being the underdog because then you have no pressure and you get to go out there and play your game. The jug is Minnesota's. The Gophers have won it 30 to 14 in the big house. Winning the jug might have been one of the most emotional wins I've ever had. Knowing that we were in Ann Arbor and then the year before not having Coach Kill there and winning for him and then knowing that when my dad won the jug, he was in Ann Arbor. Just that moment when I kind of jumped up into the stands when we had the trophy and I gave my dad my hug, it brought me to tears. I mean, it brought him to tears. It's just kind of one of those moments that you have in your life that you know you're always going to remember no matter what. Honestly, with Max holding the jug up is legitly 10 times better as a parent. It's a memory I'll always have. Winning the pig, that's awesome too. Getting the pig back for Minnesota was a great feeling. Getting those rival game trophies are things that you strive for. I mean, everyone's like, yeah, I win every game, but you just kind of get that little extra edge when it's Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan. Winning the Axe would be great. Go to the Big Ten Championship and getting the Axe and bringing it home, knowing that my dad and my uncle have their legacy set saying that they won the Axe, they won the Jug. Getting my legacy of being on a team that's won the Axe would be, I mean, you go down in history with all the other guys that won it, and knowing that I did something to help the team win is a great feeling.